everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Vanessa and today I have five gluten-free lunch recipes for you guys. I know that lunch could be a little bit tricky, so hopefully this will give you some ideas and uh, make it a little bit easier to find something that's more gluten-free friendly during lunchtime. So if you guys would like to see what I make gluten-free for lunch, I'm just repeating myself. Let's just get into the video. So first we're going to start out with some drained, rinsed, and all skin taken off of some chickpeas. I just used a can of chickpeas, but you guys can cook chickpeas from them being raw. It's completely up to you. But we're going to drain and rinse them, and then we're going to throw them in a blender. I have a Ninja. Honestly, I think a normal blender would do just fine, but you do you. Um, and then we're going to add in some jalapeno, some cilantro, garlic, salt, pepper, some olive oil, and I can't really think of what else is supposed to go into this. <laughs> but then we're going to throw that onto a blender and blend it up. Now, I'm not gonna lie that this is a little thick, so you might wanna add a little bit of water to it or um, more oil, it's completely up to you. If you don't like jalapenos, you don't have to have it. Um, you can add like avocado instead or um, just take out like the seeds and you should be fine. Oh, and then a little, little, a li wow, can't talk today. A little bit of lemon <laughs> will do just fine. That is also to taste. If you guys like lime a little bit better, then you, you go ahead and use lime. Wow, I can't talk. Let's take a break. Okay, let's see if we can actually get this out. Um, I'm going to add some chicken to a pan and I'm just going to crisp it up or just cook it until it gets a little bit brown. These are already made chicken. You guys can make your own chicken. Um, I just didn't feel like defrosting it. So sometimes I just buy like an already made can. can. See, still can't talk today. I already, I buy an already made frozen chicken breast strips. Wow, I don't know why that's so hard for me to say. And then I add some paprika, some salt and pepper, some oregano, and I want to say like garlic powder or onion powder. I'll link it down below. Well, not link it, but you know what I mean. And then I add some spinach and I usually take off the ends because I can't stand that like end stem thing. I don't know. I just, I hate that. And then I do a red onion, some tomatoes, then we add the chicken and then we add the hummus and oh my god this is so filling but it's so good i know i promised that i wasn't gonna have a whole bunch of healthy recipes but i promise you this is amazing it doesn't even feel healthy it's just freaking good and now for some steak Poutine. Now, I'm not Canadian, but Canadians, I have always wondered about poutine and what it tastes like, and it always sounded freaking delicious. So, when I went gluten-free, I decided to try it, and oh my god. So, you can use just already made frozen um, french fries, but I decided to make my own. It's just easier. It's a little bit healthier. It's not that big of a deal. If you guys don't want to do this, it's a little bit more work. It's fine but I just peel and slice them into french fries. And at least this shows, you know, how easy it is to make french fries, especially if you have an air fryer. And then I throw them in the air fry fryer for about 15 minutes or so, maybe less than that. And I usually have it on about 370. And I just throw it in there with some salt and pepper. I spray it with some cooking spray and that's pretty much it. I just set it and forget it. And then I add some already made uh, steak. You guys can make your own. It's completely up to you. I just buy like the fajita or the Philly steak one. It doesn't matter. Like I said, this is lunch. I'm just trying to do things quick and easy just so that I can get it over with. And then I had some mushrooms left over today. We had spaghetti the other night. So we have some leftover mushrooms that I just decided to throw in. And then, oh, this is where we add the salt and pepper. And I kind of shake them up to make sure that they get crisp all the way around. Now that goes to your liking. If you like them crispier, leave them in longer. If you like them not so crispy, then take them out sooner. And then there is this gluten-free brown gravy. And it is so good. Honestly, it tastes just like normal brown gravy. And this is it. And I just followed the directions on the package. So I think it was like a third of a cup or two thirds of a cup of water and I think it was cold water or no this one's hot water and then I think it's a third of a cup 
cold water and then you add the package to it. I'll link it down below or I'll try to find the ingredients. I think I threw the package away. But I just cooked the gravy up the way that the package says. And then that's it. We're just gonna add it all together. So we're gonna do the french fries. We're gonna add in some cheese. I think I just did cheddar cheese. We're gonna do some um, of the steak and mushroom mix. And then we're gonna top it with some gravy. And it is so good. Canadians, why have you been keeping this a secret from us? I don't think you guys have been. I just don't think that we've ever taken the time to try it. But this is so freaking good and it's filling too. Now we are going to make a chicken stir fry and we ended up using pad thai noodles. I haven't found a ramen just yet, but I did end up driving all the way to Vegas because in my town we don't have a lot of health food stores, but we drove to Vegas the other day and I picked up some soba noodles. So those are going to be used in a soon video. I don't know what yet. I might try to redo this stir fry, but the pad thais are fine. Um, they come out a little bit sticky, so I'm still trying to work with it, but I'm looking for gluten-free ramen. So if you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. I'm uh, taste testing everything. But pretty much I chop up about two breasts of chicken. See this one, I'm not using the already made stuff. It's completely up to you. I just think that raw chicken takes the flavor better. And then I do um, crushed red pe pepper flakes, salt and pepper. I do some soy sauce or tamari, which is gluten-free. Do not use normal uh, soy sauce. It is not gluten-free. I already have a frozen stir fry mix. You guys can chop it up yourself. I just was lazy today. And then I do, what did I say? Salt, pepper. Um, I do liquid aminos. I think I show them at the end of all these clips. Boil some water so that we get ready for the pad thai noodles. And then I add in some gluten-free oyster sauce, gluten-free um, hoisin sauce, and I think a little bit of cornstarch if I remember right. I also do in this video a teriyaki bowl and they're very, very similar, so I'm getting confused on what they are. So if I forget or I mess up, everything's gonna be linked down below. Just make sure that everything is gluten-free. Be very careful. Sometimes there's hidden soy sauce and things and we don't want that to happen because then it doesn't do good for us. So, um, yes, all of it gluten-free, tamari, soy sauce, liquid aminos, not, not normal sauce, not normal soy sauce. I can't even talk. Um, there's also some garlic and stuff in here, and then there goes in the pad thai noodles. And then I just kind of keep cooking them, and I babysit them because they cook very, very quick, so you don't want to overcook them. Now, in this video, you will see that I kind of like drag and drop my noodles from the pot as soon as they're done cooking and it's just because I was starving and I didn't want to wait for them to um, dry out. <laughs> so I recommend making them dry out. It's just for me. I was so hungry. So these are the pad thai noodles. That is the stir fry that I use. And then here we go. Cornstarch. That's added into it. <laughs> that just is, it's a thickener. That's it. And then there's my tamari and liquid aminos. The liquid aminos are a little bit more salty. And then there we go. Both gluten-free. They both say gluten-free. Oyster, poison. Just make sure. Be careful. Um, because I did this, though, they were a little bit more sticky, so it was harder to turn around. You'll see me switch to a, an actual spatula. But it was still really good. Very filling, honestly. Doesn't make you miss uh, chow mein or anything like that as much. But it's super good, and I recommend giving it a try. Now on to the teriyaki bowl. It's kind of the same thing. It's, um, I think I add rice wine vinegar to this and then I add some gluten-free teriyaki sauce, but it's all the same. It's the oyster sauce, the hoisin, um, the same seasonings and everything. So it's all pretty much the same. Oh, maybe this one had cornstarch. Maybe they both did. See, I don't even remember. They're very, very similar though. So like I said, I will link everything down below, ingredients and all that, that way you kind of know where to go with it. This is the brand you want, promise. Like I said, be very careful with the soy sauce. 
And then I also add some frozen broccoli and I add some carrot slivers, shredded carrot. I cannot talk today. And then I already had some white rice made. I usually make white rice in the beginning of the week just in case I want it with anything. So I don't know if I want to make like chicken or steak or eh, ground beef or anything. I always have just rice made or rice in the, um, the fridge. So this is the rice from there. I just heated it up a little bit. And then of course I used a measuring cup because I had nothing to scoop it out with. And I feel like I can't get the sauce in a regular spoon. And that's pretty much it. Super easy, super quick. Like I said, you don't have to make your own chicken. You guys can just buy the already made stuff like I do with every other thing. And it's a super quick and easy lunch. And last but not least, it's pizza bagels. You know how sad I was that I cannot have pizza bagels anymore. And I made this the other day and I'm so freaking in love. Now they're not little, but it gets the job done. It does. So these are the brands I use. It's the plain bagels, gluten-free. We do turkey pepperoni because if not, I get heartburn. Um, if you guys are new, I have GERD, not celiac, but I still eat the same way as you guys do who have celiac. So yes, have to do just normal pepperoni. I do mozzarella cheese and pizza sauce. Boom. Super easy, super quick, super simple. You guys can add whatever you want to this. Honestly, you can make them as like mini pan pizzas. It works out just, just as well. So you guys can add whatever you want to it if you want like vegetables to it or sausage or anything like that. And I'm just gonna cut it in half and add some sauce to it. I zoom in right here, so I apologize. It gets a little fuzzy. I thought that my camera was in focus, but we're just gonna pretend. Look at the back one. The back one's in focus better. And then we're gonna add some cheese and we're just gonna add some, uh, why can't I think of what it's called? Pepperoni, hello, pepperoni to this. And then we're going to throw it in the air fryer for about, I'd say 10 minutes. And I think I did it on about 350. If you want it crispier, I would recommend throwing in the bagel before for maybe about like 10 minutes and then making it and then throwing it back in to melt the cheese. Because if not, then the top gets very, crispy like that you can kind of tell that the pepperonis are getting a little more burnt and uh so yeah but promise make this for all you kids out there who can't have pizza bagels you won't miss it with this i promise give this one a try and that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you liked it please give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already but if not that's fine you're welcome back anytime and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye guys